Hi, this is Sunday the 14th, and I have time to do the weekly recap without waiting for Monday. Of course, I don't, I, I don't know where the market will open later on this evening, but I assume the market will go slightly up. Okay, so let's start with March. March, nothing much to say, left to expire. Uh, my bearish bet was uh, not necessary. I thought, okay, if I give up uh, $100 by closing my PCS, it would be okay because thankfully I made quite a good profit on VXX on this cycle. Fortunately, this is not looking that good for April, but on this one, nothing to say left to expire. So let's move on to April. April is doing fine this week because of the market grinding higher all the time. I just applied two bullish risk reversals, as you can see here. Okay. One was a CDS, basically buying back one call credit spread, and I was kind of soft on the put side with a short put condor, and a second time I just went for a PCS. So this is standard procedure in terms of risk reversal. Nothing much to say. So Delta is still flattish. I must admit that this bullish reversal at the back of my mind, it doesn't matter for me to go very flat on, on Delta. Well, not only Vega is well spread out and Vega is actually not that an issue right now, but also in case of a sudden reversal and the market really diving I do have my VXX. So even though my VXX position is not doing so well, I, I am quite okay with it. Um, we are 33 day DTE, so probably another three, four weeks, um, unless I keep it to expiration. I mean, this trade is fine. The profit could be 838, and I can probably, if I was a little bit more on the aggressive side again, counting on my VXX, I could, I could actually go slightly delta positive, but this is this is fine for what I'm. This is just fine. Uh, there's nothing much to do. I'm always aiming for about two percent on 38. It's going to be two point something, and as I've explained, I'm trading a larger account, so I, I'm using PM now to actually go above red T max position, and, and the reason why I'm doing that is is also that. My PM is very reasonable. My, my margin to equity is really rock bottom. I think I'm, below, I'm under 20% at the moment. And the reason is also that on PM, you look at what your profit or your risk level is at minus 10%. And as you can see, I wouldn't be losing much. And even less so considering VXX, even though I don't think my VXX position is... Um, amalgamated on the portfolio margin. I think portfolio margin only uses my options position. Anyway, so on, on this one, I hope I don't have to do more bullish risk reversals. I think the, the trade is fine for now. Hopefully not. I reduced my C CDS position by half. Uh, my original price on this one was 95 cents. It's about 60 cents. So I, I would say that if the market would go crazy, I would probably close it up completely at entry price, and then I will manage to put side. And that's probably what I would do. At the moment, it's really no sweat, no stress. And May, May, I haven't done anything. May, I haven't done anything since entry. So this trade is losing a little bit. I don't think it's losing that much, but I mean, as you can see, it's 57. Yeah, that's it's probably about that. Um, this is still the original entry. Yesterday, I tried to enter a nine condor just simple nine condor just to get above i think i placed it around 42 43.50 and that would about hundred dollars above water nothing fancy just um, um, because i don't my theta is not negative or nil so i have to do something unfortunately the market has got hasn't gone down so this this original position is more of a hedge it's not going to do anything so I could add further broken butterflies. And again, now that uh, volatility is down, I can go for regular size broken butterflies and they should probably cost nothing. If I go for still out of the money, but if I go around, uh, let's say 30, I think that's the one I mentioned. 
on Slack, as you can see, well, at, at some point, Crate, Crate was about 50 cents, it's now it's just about 25 cents. I mean, it's, it's not n neither here nor there. I mean, it's not a fantastic type of addition. That's why I would probably go if the market goes crazy or still, or at least stays in higher grounds like here. I would probably go for the IC route, which provides a better boost for now. If we look at the IV skew, this is a screenshot from the middle of the week. I don't have the data right now. As you can see, I, I'm a little bit hesitant to go on this call side now. I do anticipate the, 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 the smoke to form around here, but it, this, is, this is not clear. And if volatility falls, it will delay the formation of the, of the smoke or smoke. So this is not exactly very pleasant. Um, so I could probably go on for a PCS, but at the same time, going for a PCS only right now, I mean, okay, it would give me $2. $2 uh, if I go for a reverse Harley, about here, $2 or a little less than $2, which is not great, but... So I could do just a RTT style, that's fine. I mean, on, I, I think by putting on a, an IC, I would probably boost theta a little bit so it's this trade is kind of parked it's really not a risky trade right now but i've got to really get going if i want to reach the, the two percent mark uh, friday was 70 dte with 68 now so 67 tomorrow i mean this is not really important it's, it's still fine my vx exposition is not doing great unfortunately vix has gone down the, the, the Lows recently has been around 20, close on 20.7. Um, I thought it would bounce back around 21.5, 22. It was a kind of a bounce, but it didn't really go much further. Um, I don't know where it's going to, going to bounce, maybe around 20. I mean, I suppose if the, the all-time highs break with a short squeeze or if market goes really much higher, then that would mean, okay, COVID is forgotten. That's just, I, I, re I don't really think there is sufficient justification just to rejoice and think, okay, markets are, are going to go back into rally mode. That doesn't make sense. You know, interest rates, a 10-year bond, uh, the yield is around 0.5, 1.6 is aging higher. Um, and at some point, it will have an impact on stocks. As you know, I do calculate my, my SPX VIX correlation on, the, on, on a daily basis. And I am thinking about doing same on the correlation to interest rates. They could be, we've seen days of rally across the board this week. We've seen also techs taking a bit of a beating at some point. It can be sector rotation. We will see which sectors are more sensitive to interest rates so overall even though we have to go with the flow that's what I've, uh, that's what i've been doing on april with my bullish risk reversals overall i think we also have to prepare for a downturn okay that is it for now for any updates you know you just join send me an email drop a comment on this on this video and i will send you a, an invitation to to my slack everything is free and so just uh, pop around if you think I can be of any assistance. Thank you for watching and bye for now.